Early morning on a Saturday Wake up, time to get it started No one's gonna get in your way No one's gonna leave you broken hearted You don't need nobody else Everyone knows you're doing well So well, yeah Not a worry in the world, you ain't scared of nothing You a boss kind of girl, you got all you wanted Earned yourself a quick break in the morning If someone tells you what the wise, give a morning Don't let yourself be restrained Hey guys, good morning. Today is Friday, September 30, and it's my birthday. But I don't have any plan for my birthday. Aside, sa I need to get ready because kailangan ko pang magtrabaho. Kailangan ko nang bumalik sa work kasi 3 days na akong absent dahil nagkasakit ako ng 3 days. As in, totally, sobrang sama talaga na pakaramdam ko na halos, um magpa-admit na ako sa hospital. But thank God, hindi na ako mabot sa ganun kasi naging okay naman na yung pakiramdam ko after ko mag-take ng mga medicines. But you know guys, it's very hard kasi I'm living alone now. Uh, no one is with me. I'm having a hard time also to you know, to take care of myself kasi kapag masama yung pakiramdam mo, parang, di ba, ang hirap kumalaw, ang hirap kumilas, ang hirap mag-isip, basta lahat mahirap. But still, Thank God kasi nagkaroon ako ng courage for myself na gumalaw, kumilos, para aminom ng gamot, ganyan. Maybe later I'm going to have a dinner with Irish. Then tomorrow I'm going to have a solo trip going to Baguio. Hey guys, finally I'm done in the office and I'm already here in the restaurant waiting for Irish. Hey guys, today is Saturday after I had dinner last night with Irish. Dumiretso na ako dito sa Baguio. Guys, sobrang lamig as in. Halos hindi na ako makapagsalita sa sobrang lamig. Hindi ko siya in-expect na ganito siya kalamig. Siguro doon sobrang aga pa nang dating namin dito sa Baguio. Kaya ganito kalamig. But ang sarap sa feeling. So, for my first destination, I'm here at the church. And if you may ask, Solo trip ko to, pero may mga kasama dito kong iba't ibang travelers from other group. Malamig! Super lamig. I like the wind. So... Strawberry. Strawberry. And of course, dahil kilala ang Baguio as strawberry capital of the Philippines, hindi ko pwedeng palagpasan at natikman ang kanilang strawberry taho. Maso, namlamig pa rin dito sa Baguio. Thank you, 
So after the church, nandito na kami sa Botanical Garden, which is one of my favorite place here in Baguio. Kasi sobrang relaxing ng place kahit sobrang daming tourists. Sobrang refreshing and you will enjoy every minute you spend here. I really love this place guys you know I really enjoy it here it relieves my stress and it really makes me feel like free from my problems and sobrang gaganda ng mga flowers dito makikita mo yung mga flowers kung saan saan sobrang dami nila So guys, we're now here at the restaurant named Mamita. Kasi saan kumakain kami ng breakfast. You know guys, sobrang the best dito ang mga food. Lalo na sa malamig na panahon. Super the best ang kanilang sinigang na bulldog. Super sarap. Kaya guys, kung pupunta kayo ng The Mansion, pwede muna kayo dumaan dito sa Mamita Restaurant at itry nyo ang kanilang food. Ayan, katatapos lang namin mag-breakfast. So, we're here na sa The Mansion. Ayan. So, no one is allowed to get inside. So, dito lang kami sa gate. There's a line before you, ano, Pwede ka pumasok sa loob ng kaya. At my Instagram Park in Baguio. So, ay ito ako ngayon sa mga souvenir stores. Sobrang na-enjoy ko ang Mines View Park kahit sobrang daming turista ngayon dito dahil sa sobrang gandang overlooking kasi sobrang refreshing niya sa mata tapos makakita ka pa ng mga cute na horses at mga cute na dogs. <laughs> We're here in Bamboo Sanctuary here at in Baguio. This would be our fifth destination for today. You know guys, this place is so nice kasi sobrang relaxing ng place, sobrang refreshing, sobrang lamig, and fresco ng hangin, sobrang perfect. For our second to the last destination, we're here at Bell Church in Baguio. And then after this, we'll go into Strawberry Farm na. And that will be the, our last destination for today. And then magpapahinga na kami sa aming accommodation later. Ayan. So, sobrang init kaya ako nakapayo ngayon. And then, I don't know if aakit pa ako sa taas. As you enter Bell Church, masasalubo nyo kagad yung mga statues ng mga dragons. And then makikita nyo rin na meron silang koi pond dito where many people choose to make a wish to deliver to the koi pond. Wala lang akong video ng koi pond pero ayan, may picture ako. <laughs> Okay 
guys, so now we're here at the strawberry farm here in Baguio. And as you can see, at my back of oh, the there's a lot. So I have decided to try their strawberry shake kasama ng cheese corns kasi sabi nila perfect daw tong combination. Guys, nandito na kami sa Transient House and ipapakita ko sa inyo kung ano ang meron dito. I really like it guys. Sobrang ganda. Wait. Yan, yeah, even travelers. Yan, yeah, even travelers. Usap pa sila ito. This is our bed. Shared bedroom. Here, the balcony guys. Sobrang ganda. <laughs> I like the view. Guys. Diba? Sobrang nice. I like the view here. Hey guys. So, I am now here at the park doing some biking. Oh my god, uh, we're supposed to go to the night market. Pero close pa daw siya. Mga 9pm pa daw siya mag-start. Mag-open. So, dito muna kami. Kasama ng ibang travelers. Para, you know, hindi masaya yung oras namin. And then, siguro after 30 minutes, pupunta na kami dun sa night market. Para i-check kung open na siya. And para makapag-dinner na rin kami. Tapos na ako mag-dinner guys. So, ang kinain ko, tinakdakaan, sisig, tapos nag-barbecue ako. Sobrang namin ko kinain, diba? Pero hindi ko lang nakuha ng video kasi walang table dito. So, hindi ko na lang mimimili ko sa kakaan. Ayan. Hey guys, this is our second day and first destination for today. We're here at Igorot Stone Kinda. So, tingnan natin maya maya kung anong meron sa loob at anong ibig sabihin ng Igorot Stone Kinda. Bakit yun yung pangalan niya? So, let's go! So guys, we're here now inside the Igorot Stone Kingdom and may kita nyo guys, sobrang ganda ng place para talaga tayong nasa kingdom na gawa sa mga bato. Just for trivia guys, you know, the Egret Stone Kingdom is a man-made park and may kanya-kanya pala siyang stories kung paano siya nagawa. We're now already in Diplomat Hotel. So, yeah. samahan niyo ako sa loob guys. <laughs> so, ayan guys, bawal pala siya pumasok sa loob kasi nire-renovate ata yung... Of course, people know the Diplomat Hotel is an abandoned building with a dark history at sinasabi nilang isa sa mga most haunted places dito sa Philippines. Sugar cone din po. Sorry guys, sobrang favorite ko talaga ang sorbetes kaya hindi pwedeng hindi ako bumili. Going to ride the bus. Okay. 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 
So, nandito tayo ngayon sa Cemetery of Negativitism para ilibing natin dito lahat ng mga negative vibes, negative emotions na nararamdaman ko. Ngayon. 